Hello, I'm Heather Almarjo. I'm going to give you a quick five minute video on how I would save Alberta. Uh, most people know Alberta is going through a huge recession. Most of Canada is struggling. And I just wanted to share three um, concepts that I think could completely transform this province and likely this country. Um, that would be gardens, houses and hemp as a tech as an industry. Um, so first of all, I'm going to just quickly tell you where I am right now. I'm in my spare room of um, the basement suite that I rent. And I've got a piece of wood sitting on an old ironing board. And there, from a rotten tomato in my fridge, I've grown 125 tomato plants. Um, this right here is a whole package of Brussels sprouts. This could easily fill an entire yard. Um, currently in North America, the most irrigated crop in North America, so this is Canada and US, is grass. Um, it's not edible, it's not useful. Um, it is attractive, um, particularly when you consider its um, aristocratic history. However, it is not useful and doesn't lend itself to the value of what a home investment needs to return to its um, owners. So uh, the four things that we would need to get the garden aspect to help Alberta is seeds, dirt, water, and um, sunshine. So for seeds currently, if you walk into any Walmart, Superstore, Safeway, Garden Center, Greenhouse, Dollar Store, um, there will be packets and packets of seeds. There's probably enough seeds in this city right now to plant food in every single yard in Calgary. And we have the largest urban sprawl in Canada. So that's an assumption that I'm making, but I think it's a pretty safe one when you consider how much yard space um, is actually useful for growing food. Um, I have plenty of friends who are skilled in permaculture. I have designs that I've created on my own that are going to work with the ecosystems of urban environments to make gardening easier. Um, we're going to need dirt. Everybody eats vegetables, throws out food. Composting is going to be rolling out next year in Calgary. Um, there's going to be a company that gets given or buys the um, compost after it's been processed. Um, and, and I would argue that that's not really a something that citizens of Calgary need to pay for you know um, it is our garbage <laughs> and it's being turned into compost um, through by worms and so I think if it were a citizen owned company um, those compost could be returned to the citizens no problem um, water currently we could subsidize our wastewater pardon me our rainwater barrel systems and bring them to more people um, in low-income areas as well gray water t tends to not get used um, currently we cloud seed in Alberta which means that we put chemicals into the air to try and prevent major storms um, lightning and thunderstorms from damaging our infrastructure um, I would argue that this is damaging to our crops and is unnecessary um, yes tornadoes are scary no one's denying that however so is lack of food um, Houses currently, Red Deer, I think, has my hometown has over 200 foreclosed properties. Um, I'm not very articulate at talking about business and banking. However, if you do your own research, which I highly recommend that you do, um, banks aren't actually loaning money. Um, they're loan when a bank gives you mortgage, they are giving you a loan based on the assumption that they are going to have that money in their accounts if everyone paid back their loans. And their interest. Um, if you collected all of the mortgages that one bank branch has given out and collected all of the money that is in all of the bank accounts in that bank, they will not match. There will be much more money owed in debt um, than they can provide physical currency for. Um, so I would argue that it's a Ponzi scheme and that um, were it taken to court, um, banks could not prove ownership 
of the homes that are being foreclosed upon. Um, also, the Human Rights Commission put forth by the UN requires that all citizens have access to food, water, and shelter. Um, by taking away those homes through foreclosure, the bank is in fact violating those human rights, is my belief. Um, finally, hemp is a natural native crop here in North America. Um, it can be used to make plastic, oil, gas, um, textiles, so silk or cotton type materials. Um, it can also be used to make concrete, a composite wood, building materials. Um, it is a food source as well. And I feel that if we remove the unnecessary licensing requirements that are currently um, required in Canada to grow hemp crops, then we would have an industry which could far surpass the oil and gas industry, which was our primary in Alberta for many years. Um, so thank you for taking the time to listen and share and comment. Um, I, I have many friends and family who are currently struggling um, due to the economy. I do not think oil and gas can sustain us in any way, shape or form. Um, and so these are my suggestions to build a new prosperous Alberta and I hope you will consider them and present them to your publicly elected officials. Thank you. Have a great day.